We didn't lie from right, the go. court case of the junior case murder we have to go. And now the prosecuting counsel wants to talk Please start now. Okay, so tell us you are satisfied. Let's look at the camera and show through. Yes, I'm satisfied. In fact, the judgment of Biden was very comprehensive. We are satisfied that justice is served to the family of the deceased and to the society. I am sure that this case will serve as a deterrent. This case will serve as a deterrent to those young, particularly youngsters who think that they can grab whatever they want by many Like my Lord said, justice is a three-way traffic. Justice for everybody. And for me, he is satisfied. Okay, your, the, the Lord said that if your prosecution was not able to pin down the second defendant in the two can charges. Please look at the cameras. That doesn't mean that uh, there wasn't a case to answer. But like he said, when there is uh, some doubt, it is better to release a guilty man than to incarcerate an innocent man. So because of that doubt, my Lord released him. But that still is not The wife, the family of um, Chukuma, and this one are the wife. Madam, good morning. Good morning. Yes. So, how you feel now where this judgment don't come? So, how you feel? What is your name first and foremost? Okay. Abe, speak up. A wife of the junior guy. Okay. Madam, how do you feel this uh, uh, afternoon about what has happened? Right? Well, I'm very happy because I'm happy for the state, I'm happy for Nigeria, I'm happy for Almighty God who has posed the judgment to my own people, who have betrayed my husband that is not the victim, that there was murdered him coldly, but I give all glory to Almighty God who have done this for me, I say may his name be glorified. And for the state government, I thank the I thank them. I say may all glory be unto them because they have done well. How has it been with you for the past years? Three years now like this one. It has not been easy, but the Lord has been the one sustaining us. So are you satisfied with the judgment? Yes. Are you happy now? Yes. So has your husband's body been buried? No. Where is the body? At the mortuary. Okay, madam, just tell us about um, you and your children. Yes. I want you to just tell us you, your children, your family have who been who been all these years. They are still talking about their father. The first time we reached the court, they first saw the bike. They were like, "This is my father's bike. This is my daddy's bike." And my daughter was, "Is my daddy going to come back?" Your name, please, madam. Blessing Chukuma. And. My daughter was asking whether his father is going to come back, and I said, no, it has not been easy for us without him in the family, in the midst of his children, because I have been the one asking him a lot of questions. The daughter thought that his father went and in, uh, uh, outside when at, at last he will come back. The daughter was because he was a year and seven months when he left him. Uh, you are the brothers. Uh, see the lawyer here now. See the lawyer. Okay, let's finish. So the River State High Court does give judgment for the Jumia delivery guy, where uh, the people were go deliver goods to kill for March 2017. I will want to talk to one of the lawyers. Okay, let's meet you, sir. My name is Chinedu. Please, I take that again. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. My name is Chile Dumbu. 
Okay, so. Okay. Uh, who are you, please? You are counsel to? We are the defense counsel to the first day conflict. Okay. So, what do you think about this judgment? Well, in a criminal trial, the duty is on the prosecution to establish the guilt of the accused person beyond reasonable doubt. The only duty on the defense is to point out to the court where the prosecution has failed in order to establish the guilt of the accused person beyond reasonable doubt. And in this case, we marshaled out grounds, facts, where the prosecution failed to establish the offenses of murder and armed robbery. One of them is the locus criminis, the scene of the crime. The prosecution has embedded in the charge that the disease was murdered at number one at the street of location road in Boba But the evidence of the prosecution witnesses there were cacophony of uh, disparate addresses given as locus criminis. Some say it took place at Ada Judge, others say it happened at Mboaba, and another even say it happened at Rumo Numeni. Rumo Numeni, Ada Judge, and Mboaba are different addresses. And we told the court that based on the evidence adduced by the prosecution, this person cannot be convicted of having murdered the accused at number one uh, at the street of location of Mboaba as stated in the charge. In the judgment of my lord, my lord went on the frolic to now link the to establish the link between um, Boba, Ada Judge, Rume Precon, and all that. And these facts relied by my lord were not borne out by the evidence of the prosecution. Like that my lord said he can take judicial notice of the fact that Ada Judge, a connection between Ada Judge and Boba. And uh, we are very we strongly feel that. The knowledge of my lord outside the record of the connection between Mboaba and Ajad and Rumoni is something that must be adduced from the evidence of the witnesses, not from the personal knowledge of my lord. Okay. And uh, we are not satisfied with uh, the conviction of a Sudan in Batubeke for murder and armed robbery. Please, what is his name exactly? The second name, Mbatumu Keke or Nuke? Mbatumu Keke. Get from the records of okay, the sir. So, the court the also means... also based its judgment on his confessional statement yes. made in the court yes. in the police. Yes. So what do you have to say Even about on that? the confessional statement, the alleged confessional statement of uh, the convict? He stated in court that he never made all those statements, that the statements were not his own, and we argued based on the section 17 of administration of criminal justice law which stated that a confessional statement must be taken in video or any electronic device. In this case, the confessional statement of the convict was not recorded on any electronic device, not even in video, not in any audio, and none was standard before the court. And again, the state section also makes mention of the fact that before you convict any person based on confessional statement, the, there must be the legal representative of choice of that person, or if there is no legal representative of that person, that is a legal professional, there must be a representative from the legal aid council, or a member of the civil society, or any person nominated by the accused person. And it is the duty of the police to go and look for all those persons. My law said that the uh, opportunity was given to the convict and he didn't bring any. No. It was not the duty of the convict to look for those persons. It was the duty of the police to look for the member of legal aid council, if there's no lawyer, to be present when those statements uh, were made. <laughs> the failure to uh, abide by that, the failure of the, uh, the police to comply with the mandatory provision of Section 17 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Law of River State renders those confessional statements inadmissible in evidence. And we canvassed that point and cited authorities of the Supreme Court and the Court of Appeal to address that point. But my Lord heard that those authorities were not uh, applicable. What's what the next, next, step? What's what's the next, next step line of action? The, the convict has yes, already sorry. instructed us to lodge an appeal at the Court of Appeal against the conviction. We have told him to put it in writing, but he has given us his instruction orally to proceed to the Court of Appeal. Your name again, sir? My name is Chinedu. 
Okay, so we're there for River State Judiciary Complex where Justice Chigozie Igwe just delivered judgment for the case of the ju uh, Jumia delivery guy where them kill when in go deliver goods for other judge area of Port Harcourt since March to uh, March 25, 2017. The case done there for court since that time, and today the judgment don't come. For the judgment that Justice Igwe give, in find the first accused person, the first accused person, um, but, um, the first accused person, so the Mbadumukeke, guilty of murder and armed robbery. He also can discharge and acquit the second defendant, Excel Nabe, of all the uh, two count charge of murder and armed robbery, where the state been bring against them because them say because the judge find out or say they know if he prove their case. The judge found sentence of the year Mbad Mukeke to death by hanging. But the lawyer, the lawyer don't talk, say, then go appeal the case because they're not they satisfied with waiting the court with, with the judgment. And so now so we see him today from Port Harcourt, from the River State Judiciary Complex. This is the family of the Jumia delivery guy. Welcome here, the judgment. And the wife who we talked to earlier, she said she did satisfied. Say her husband don't get judgment. Even though in that body still there for mortuary, now not to bury him, not be the next step. And so now for here, we will end our live broadcast from the River State Judiciary Complex. On our do well say, on our sit down with us for this case, we come soon. The lawyer of the, the convicted accused. Nobody knows. Accused. knows what he has written. And he should not give any person the pressure that he has convicted until that is done by his reading the facts, facts supporting the conviction. At that point, when he convicts, he retires to jail and he comes out the red apparent to pass the sentence. But in this case, he started reading the judgment earlier. My lord, uh, has already made up his mind.